Welcome back everyone. So today on this nice early Saturday morning, I just want to share with you guys some of the things that I've been thinking about. Um, I, I've been still going through interviews. Uh, there's still a good amount of out there, but the only thing I have noticed is that it's more of a experience level market right now. And one thing I'm trying to figure out, even though there are somewhat elementary positions but even with the elementary lower level positions junior positions they're still expecting you to have some type of experience with this right you can't just come in blindly or just graduate out of college and expect to land a high paying job uh, there are internships with a, which i have seen a lot and that's probably one of the best benefits for people students who are still in school or just graduated college that you have this opportunity to join these large organizations because they have these programs for internships and that's where you would gain your experience. But my real question is now, and I'm starting to think about it more and more as I'm messing around with AI, studying that and trying to learn more and study for other certifications in the cybersecurity realm. Just like the title of this particular video is, is cybersecurity just another fad? And I probably am old enough to see this happen in the past where networking was huge, right? Uh, On-prem servers, Microsoft MCSC, even though Microsoft has gone away with their whole, you know, server certification environment and went totally onto Azure, which is the cloud environment, it's pretty drastic changes throughout these last decades, right? I'm pretty you know aging myself for sure as i say this but you know there was a time when certifications such as cisco ccna and novell network and microsoft mcsc were like the hottest thing and there was nothing else beyond that but now as time has progressed and technology has gotten different i won't say better i'll say different uh I remember when, you know, people who had on-prem servers or system engineers dealing with, you know, servers on site was like, you know, the cloud is just another server that doesn't belong to you and is managed by someone else, which is true, right? Can't think of the cloud as really a cloud. It's not really in the sky somewhere. It's just at another facility in a different location that is being managed by another system engineer, not you. So... You know, everyone had their, you know, gripes about that. But my whole point is cybersecurity is, is this just another fad? Like how we're into this whole AI thing right now? Like everywhere you turn, like every vendor, every company throws cybersecurity on their title, their, their title, their, you know, project or something along the lines of that similar to like when the internet boom like if you had anything with a www in front of your name uh www dot you know whatever you were happening you were with the trend you were selling something that was supposedly relevant for that time right try doing that now and you'd be like what the hell is this right www what um that that vocabulary has been totally omitted uh and you know one thing i i've been noticing a lot more is even certain things like cisco ccna has converted their ccna to say security uh and i was just you know like trying to make sense of it now i understand that what you have to do in order to get in today's market is you have to understand the industry, which is right, cybersecurity, right? For the most part, we're trying to get in this field and that's why you're watching this video. So why am I here and why am I saying this? Yes, you need to go with the trend, but you need to be able to adapt to different things, right? Technology wise. I started my career as a system engineer and progressively I became a cybersecurity engineer and one thing led to another, and now I'm just into this whole cybersecurity thing for the last 10 years, which is, now that I'm thinking about it, like, that's pretty insane for the last 10 years that I've been working in cybersecurity. 
and I kind of just fell into it. It wasn't a study that was provided during college. It wasn't courses that say, hey, you want to become a cybersecurity professional. No, it definitely was not. It was a mandate from one of the companies that I was working at as an auditor came in and say, hey, you need someone to be managing all this uh, because of the industry that we were in. And you have to make sure that this person understands having policies and procedures and, and making sure your, your security uh, footprint is sufficient. And someone had to be reliable for that. And I was young. I had no idea. My CIO at the time you know, asked if I would accept this promotion. But little did I know in hindsight now is that if I really messed up, my ass would have been on the line. So in a sense, it was a manager slash security role. It wasn't a CISO position, but it was definitely someone that they can fall back on uh, and say, well, you messed up. You're going to get fired. <laughs> so, uh, so is cybersecurity a fad? In my honest opinion, cybersecurity is being adapted, understood, and globally recognized uh, to the point where even your your grandparents understand or your parents understand what cybersecurity is, it has gotten to that level of you know comprehension where I feel like it's definitely something that you won't forget and people start adapting as new generation, like let's just say, children of like elementary school are starting to learn like oh you know i have to have a strong password i have to have this i have to have that uh to make sure that i'm safe i can't share my profile i shouldn't talk to strangers online uh scammers uh emails because every student right even six years seven years old have email accounts now from their uh, public school so with that being said you know cybersecurity is being adapted so much where it's not a fancy word anymore. Cybersecurity now is still a fancy word, but I think it's going to get to a point where it's not a fancy word. It's just going to be redundant. Like, you know, you say McDonald's, like, oh, you know, when McDonald's first opened, it was like, oh, ow, it's glamorous, right? It was good food and cheap and, and reasonable, but you say McDonald's now and you're like, uh, all right, whatever. There's plenty of other options now, right? Uh, a lot of other franchises that we never heard of 20, 30 years ago. So I feel like it, it is a fad. Um, it definitely is, you know, as time goes on, this, this term cybersecurity, hacking and all that has always been in existence, right? There's hacking movies in Hollywood that's been out for like 15, 20 years uh, practically. But each one, as they progress into the future, has probably gotten a little dull and repetitive, right? Someone hacking into the system, stealing this, stealing that. It was more intriguing when you never seen it. But as time goes on, oh, okay, it's Russia. All right, it's China. All right, it's, you know, uh, in India, scammers, whatever it is, like, you know, on that you see on YouTube. All those have definitely uh, contributed to, oh, this is like the same thing over and over again. So cybersecurity, I feel like the terminology itself is a fad, but the industry is definitely something that is going to keep on going, right? So best advice from me to you is that make yourself marketable. Just study whatever it is for the current time because you're going to have to be able to adapt to the future and what's the next trend that's going to be, right? Right now, I can say AI is overlapping cybersecurity, even though there is some type of tie between the two, cybersecurity, AI. But this whole AI industry, because it's being developed and, and sort of new as, as is being, in, you know, being introduced to the more affordable market, opposed to not just someone that has billions of dollars being able to be the only one getting into AI, it's definitely at a point where it's overlapping cybersecurity because cybersecurity has been around for some time now, or at least the last couple of decades. And I think it's losing that marketability. Like if you said to me, or if I said to you, like, hey, I'm MCSC certified, and you'll look at me like, okay, and what's, what's 
that going to do for me, right? Or you can look at someone and say, hey, I'm, I'm CCNA certified. That's great. I mean, you have the MCSC, you have CCNA, you can still configure and build, you know, servers and you can still configure routers and switches. But that's boring stuff now, right? There's thousands of people that know how to do that because there's thousands of certifications that prove that these people know how to do that, right? CCIEs, CCNAs, and all these other variations of Cisco certifications and all these other networking certifications. But that's going to happen with cybersecurity, right? There's going to be millions by the time, probably by the time I retire, or if not sooner, there's going to be millions of CCI, uh, CISSPs, CEH, uh, CISMs, and CRISC, and uh, OSCPs. The market is hot when there's minimal, right? Then when there's a lower quantity, it's more valuable. But when there's more, it makes no difference. I could pick any one person from the street and they'll probably have OSCP or CISSP. Why do I need you, right? So point is, try to be understanding that cybersecurity right now, yes, it's a field, it's hot. But I can see it also being not as hot as time goes on. And that time is actually showing its light because of AI. Right now, if you told someone you understand and you know how to build and you know how to utilize AI, you're very marketable. You're in demand. But if you told someone in a cybersecurity perspective, I'm not saying it doesn't exist. I'm saying it, it is. But... It just doesn't seem like, hey, you're not the only one that knows this now. There's thousands because, again, there's certifications, even though certifications shouldn't prove what you know, but the certification tracks, you know, different certification levels should indicate some level of knowledge. And there's plenty out there, to be honest. So, again, I do feel like cybersecurity is a current trend uh, a market that won't go away but it just won't be as hot as what you were expecting a couple years back to where it is now and probably in the next five years that's just my opinion guys uh, hopefully this wasn't a turn down from cybersecurity, but just a realization of what's going on from my perspective and from what i've been seeing because now job postings are expecting because it, it's so involved now like everyone should know these things it, it almost seems that way where you know we're willing to teach you how to use palo alto or we're willing to teach you how to you know do incident response no uh, positions that you're applying for because cybersecurity has been around for so long now they're expecting you to know these before you apply for this role they want experienced people now all right so I just want to share that with you guys. I want to thank you guys for being here. Please hit that like, comment, subscribe, and I'll talk to you guys again soon. Take care.